David, it's time to do the video. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing in the bathroom? Welcome back fellow Horror Night fans and Universal fans alike. Welcome to another episode of Halloween Horror World. Well, we've got some interesting news um, today to actually talk to you guys about. Uh, and also a maze announcement. Now this is interesting because both the maze announcement and the news is part of the one of the same thing. Now as you kind of guess is The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is coming back to Universal Studios Hollywood. Now it's unsure whether Orlando will actually get this attraction that they're building for a year-round uh, attraction for the parks themselves but right now it's only confirmed for Hollywood um, and it's piqued my interest uh, I mean here on the show we always joke about The Walking Dead coming back uh, it's just funny that now it's permanent so it's just like uh, no one can say anything about it it's just oh The Walking Dead's coming back well I can confirm it for 2017, 2018, 2019 so and so forth and <laughs> so at least we don't have to keep theorizing The Walking Dead leaving now, at least for Hollywood, because now it's a permanent attraction. Um, the way it's kind of set up is it's in its own building in Entertainment Boulevard, that area of the park, and it's going to have its full-on building, um, So, which means it won't be a, uh, a tent-type maze. Which is great because there's a lot they can utilize. Uh, I mean, you guys in Orlando, you've seen the soundstage versions of The Walking Dead. Now there's a full-on building that is operated specifically for The Walking Dead. So this has, has me excited because now they can increase the kind of size and nature of the sets and um, play around with them a little bit more in terms of setting up some really good scares. So for me, myself... And like I said, I know we we can't joke about The Walking Dead, but I'm excited to see this. Um, K Once again, KMB, Greg Nicotero, uh, the uh, founder of KMB FX and the executive producer of The Walking Dead, he is once again giving Universal the life cast for the walkers used on the show. Now, what will be interesting is they kind of set this up. Uh, now, nothing too far out of the way is set up. Uh, it's kind of explained of what is going to be inside the attraction itself. We can assume a lot of familiar sets from the seasons will be uh, inside the attractions. Um, but what would have been cool is they kind of set it up like in Japan they have Resident Evil The Real where they give you um, uh, kind of laser guns where you can fend off attacking walkers and stuff like that. Well in Resident Evil the T-Virus infected zombies and creatures. That would have been cool utilizing that kind of technology for uh, in a Walking Dead situation, which I think would be a lot of fun. But nevertheless, the way this is kind of pointing out is it's going to be uh, just kind of a regular over uh, a maze on steroids, essentially, uh, with this full building. So I am excited for this. Um, now, it's supposed to open summer 2016, so uh, we could be expecting it either June, July, around that area. Um... Now, from what we've seen in the floor plans and the construction for it is that um, it's it's going to be a, a one-story building, so it's going to be a straight walkthrough, which is great if you're if you're disabled or in a wheelchair. It'll be great because everyone can enjoy it then uh, without having some special parameters to help you around the maze. Um, what's cool is they're also utilizing puppets uh, for the maze. This could set up some really good scares now that they've got a building constructed specifically for live actors and puppets. And some of the scares could be really, really well played um, depending on how the building's set up and what uh, scares they've got set up. And timing is going to be important because you've got one... It's not just like a maze where you literally have to hit every, every beat really quickly or... Or within a certain distance because uh, in a tent maze they're restricted and then the exit is very short and while the mazes I know it feels like a really long time when you're in a maze but they're really short and so they're having to try and get all these scares out whereas in a full-on haunted attraction uh, in a 
full-size building that is specifically designed for that attraction. They can pace out the scares, really set you up, give you tension, and hit you really hard. And I think this is going to be good. I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying the concept of this. And I'm looking forward to experience it myself at some point in the future. So, yeah, summer 2016, the haunted um, attraction that is going to be The Walking Dead is going to be permanently. It's going to be basically the new version of The House of Horrors. Bigger, better, hopefully scarier. And, um, yeah, so what do you guys think? Uh, tell me your thoughts uh, in the comments below. Are you excited for this? I, I know it's The Walking Dead. You can even <laughs> shout out uh, negative stuff about The Walking Dead if you want. Um, but I'm curious to see what you guys think because I know this is going to stir some... Uh, controversy within the community of it being a permanent thing at the uh, at the park. Uh, once again, unknown whether Orlando will get this as well, but um, only time will see. And until the next time, this is the Crazy Englishman signing off.